No one should really be looking at a computer screen at this time in the morning. So I brought out a new video on Monday, and whenever I bring out a new video, I have this sort of lull in energy in the following days. Now this sort of inactivity is really frustrating, and it doesn't seem to matter how well the video does. If the video does well, then I sort of ride the success of that for a little while, and if the video doesn't do as well, I sort of get a bit defeated, uh, and that also makes me fairly inactive. Coffee's gone. So today I'm trying to figure out what to do with this inactivity. You see, I have this sign that I keep above my desk that says get on with it, and I thought that looking at this every day would help keep me focused, but in reality, what actually happens is I look at it and I think, okay, but get on with what? I can't be the only one who's found myself in this situation. When you have your camera right next to you and you look at it and you think, I wanna pick that up and film something, but I've got no idea what I'm actually gonna film today. And so all this energy that you had that was positive and you were gonna turn into something creative just sort of evaporates. I've just remembered that it's my turn to cook dinner tonight, so uh... You see, that's the problem with Nike saying just do it, or Casey Neistat saying work harder, or do more, or Peter McKinnon saying just make vids. Don't get me wrong, they're very inspirational people and they are very motivational quotes, but if you don't know what you're just meant to do, if you don't know what you're meant to work harder at, that inspiration can slowly turn into feeling a bit crap about yourself. So today I've decided to just change things up, to wake up, not have a plan, make a video without knowing what the video is going to be about, and post it on the same day, this video. I've decided to listen to the sign above my desk and get on with it. I'll be honest with you though, I still don't really know what it is, but um, this view's pretty good though. What do we reckon? Sun's out, let's give it a go. Now to get on with something else. Time to get on with some exercise. I hate exercise. Am I a vlogger now? That felt like a very vlogger thing to do.
So here's the thing with getting on with it. This morning has been brilliant. I've been productive, I've been making this video, I've been editing it, and that's felt really nice and creative, and I've not been in that slump that I usually feel for a few days after I release a video. I've been to the shop, I've worked out. So far, everything is great, but I've now got to the point where I've had this burst of energy and productivity this morning that I've now hit a wall. Like, I don't know what comes next. I don't know what to do next. I don't know what to film next. I don't know where this video is going. Um, so yeah. Once again, it's all well and good to say, get on with it, but unless you know what you're supposed to be getting on with, it doesn't really work. But I'm gonna just carry on getting on with it, I guess. We'll probably cut now to me making dinner or something. So Mexican lasagna is kind of made up. It's just an excuse to get rid of this sauce we've had for a little while. Let's see how it goes. I actually need to be quite careful because I cut my finger on a knife the other day. Perfect. That is how you cut an onion. Got to get all the pans out to get the one you want. Leave that bad boy softening. Green peppers. Or capsicums if you're from somewhere else. Wash them. Should, you probably should wash them. Consider these bad boys washed. Now you might be thinking, John, what kind of meat are you gonna use in this Mexican lasagna? Are you gonna go for beef or are you gonna go for pork? Well, this might surprise you, but neither. I'm going for turkey mince because, you know, it's healthy, isn't it? You don't wanna get the paper bit in there. There's always a paper bit. Very much like a TV chef. Nearly cut my toe off. So whilst that is doing its thing, I am going to grate some cheese because every good lasagna, Mexican or otherwise, requires a lot of cheese. Oh, I should have thought about that, Steve. That is looking good. Look at that. Ho, ho, ho. There we go. Granted, it's um, a little flatter than I perhaps intended, but quite nice to have something to show for uh, a day's work. Moment of truth. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah what's the verdict? We'll do again. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So I'm still not entirely sure if get on with it is good advice. What I can say is that for me, today I woke up and I was determined to do something and now I've got a video to put out at the end of the day and it's quite nice to have something tangible to show for my efforts today. So in that respect, maybe there is something behind get on with it but I also don't think that there's anything wrong with taking your time to figure out what it is that you want to get on with. I don't know, does that make any sense? Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. And I am now going to try and edit this sucker and upload it. And it is way too late for anyone to be looking at a laptop screen. So uh, until next time, piss off. The boy John, the boy John, the boy John. I know that this was a little bit different today. Um, is this something you'd like to see more of? Maybe the occasional vlog? Let me know.